Forza Motorsport is only just getting started. There are many things to be excited for for the future of this game. We're just going to talk about the latest news related to motorsport in this video. We've got a lot of new leaked cars and stuff that have popped up in several places which we'll talk about. And the current state of the game for some people as it's still not quite right. Very quickly though, at first I still have a Forza Motorsport Premium Edition code to give away to one of you guys. It's an Xbox code. If you want a chance to win it, comment your gamer tag and make sure you're subscribed and please answer your Xbox messages if you win because a lot of winners don't check their messages. I still have that one code to give away. Now. Let's talk about the motorsport news, shall we? Starting off on Twitter, Fulton Motorsport, this is going to grind some people's gears, has been included in the BAFTA's list of top 60 best video games of 2023, and it's also being nominated for the multiplayer category of the 2024 BAFTA Games Awards. Now, this is going to grind some people's gears, as lots of people think that motorsport is nowhere near good enough to win any type of awards. This is a list of the 60th best video games, so I think we can all agree that Motorsport is one of the 60th best games of 2023. As much as you can hate on Motorsport if you don't like it, we're all Forza fans, so it's good to see them being included in awards like this. Now, there's been no hot fixes this week. However, I do think that one is extremely needed as controller issues seem to be appearing for quite a few players over on Steam as per the most recent update. Now, Steam does not have a very large player base for Forza Motorsport at all, like it is extremely small compared to the Horizon 5 stream, uh, Steam player base, for example. So it's a minority that are getting these Steam-related issues, but nevertheless, it still does affect the player base a very small amount, and I think a hotfix is needed. Leaks. We all like leaks. Who doesn't like leaks? Wets. I think there's three individual ones to talk about. The first one is this one here. This is a poster, a thumbnail, a card, whatever you'd call it for one of the events. And it has in the thumbnail a Maserati MC20, which is not in Forza Motorsport. It seems like the evidence suggests that the Maserati MC20 did plan to come to Forza Motorsport within the most recent Update 3. However, for some reason, it didn't end up going through and it was replaced with the Automobili Batista or whatever the car's called. I'll put it on screen. This image could be found in game and it could also be found on Twitter. Now, what this means is one, we can add the Maserati MC20 to the leaked car list for Forza Motorsport. If you don't watch my Forza Horizon 5 videos, you may be unaware that the Maserati MC20 was also leaked for Horizon 5 as well a few months ago in a very credible leak that has turned to be very accurate as well. So the MC20 is probably on the horizon for both games unless any catastrophic license issue or other permission issue has arised. The MC20 is more than likely coming at some point but we cannot be 100% sure. Hopefully they have not encountered any issues because this is a car that I've been wanting to come to the game for a while now. The next one, believe it or not, is another thumbnail slash card that was found in game. I've got a few messages about this. I'll leave a screenshot of one of them now. The featured multiplayer sort of thumbnail thing in game actually displayed two cars here, which is the Nissan GTR GT500 and the Toyota Supra Mark V drift car, which I believe is in Forza Horizon 5. Over on GT Planet, which is where a lot of the leaks come from, it was actually posted a few weeks ago that these two banners were found recently in the files as well, but weren't being used. And I think accidentally in this most recent update, the featured multiplayer one has accidentally been used. So we have the raw image here, of the Nissan and the Toyota Supra. Obviously these cars aren't in the game, but at some point, in some way, they are in the catalogue for motorsport cars because they're in these thumbnails. So we can probably add this Nissan GTR and Supra to the leaked car list as well. Again, just because they're on the leaked car list doesn't mean we're waiting for them. It just means that they are more likely to come than any other car, I suppose you could say. Now, again, on GT Planet, we have a post from the Admeister. You may remember that guy from some Horizon 5 leaks. He's turned to be credible in general. He's found the Ferrari 488 GTE, the Cadillac ATS GT3, the Chevrolet Camaro TA, the Lexus RCF GT3, 
the Nissan Silvia Super Silhouette 1983 and the Lotus 98T 1986. Now he doesn't say where he found references for these cars from but I can only presume based off him in the past it's from the files somewhere. Now that does mean we can add these six cars to the list as well however if you again are unaware we, we are presuming that the entire Forza Motorsport Car Pass DLC list has been leaked over on Steam. These are the cars here that were added. We can see the list of tons of cars that aren't in the game. And if we correspond the codes to dates, these are the dates we get. So far, it's been 100% correct all the way up to January the 11th, so it's looking really credible. But some of the cars that I just previously said are actually already on this list, more specifically the Ferrari, the Cadillac, the Lexus, and the Lotus. The Chevrolet and the Nissan, I don't see on this list. So onto the elite car list, we can add the Chevrolet and the Nissan to that list as well. Now the Nissan GTR and the Toyota Supra that we spoke about just a few minutes ago, um, the drift one that was spotted in this photo here, the Toyota Supra Mark V drift car is on this list, you can see it here, is already on the leaked car list from a previous video where Nuclear Bomb, another known guy who kind of fiddles with this kind of stuff, messaged me and kept me up to date with what cars have been leaked so far. The Toyota Supra has now been found in a couple of places. Nissan GTR, however, has not. So as of today, we can add the Maserati MC20, the Nissan GTR GT500, the Chevrolet and the Nissan Silvia to the leaked car list, whereas the other ones that we mentioned were already on here. So it just makes it that little bit even more credible. I'm a bit nerdy with all these leaks, as I'm sure you're aware, so it's nice to see this list filling up slowly and over the years to come for Forza Motorsport we can slowly start ticking them off and hope to see it look like the Forza Horizon 5 leaked car list that looks like this that's turned out to be so accurate over the years. I mean, look at all the green ones. Look at them green ones. Now that's all about cars. It would be nice to have a leaked track list whereas it would probably be a lot smaller. We know the Nürburgring is coming and I did notice a very good comment from somebody mentioning that we know the Nürburgring is coming next year in spring, which is around when the leaked car pass actually ends. Now to me, it would make sense if the Nürburgring comes in a big update right as the car pass has ended, sort of to keep people rolling, to keep people going. To me, it makes sense logically that the player count might dip a little bit once the car pass ends, because it's one less reason for some people to visit the game every month whereas if the Nürburgring comes the Nordschleife at least it's a reason for people to stay now that's on April the 4th if this list is accurate April the 4th is when the last car will arrive and the leaked car list sort of ends in terms of this the Nürburgring may just be coming around that April and May kind of time, which really isn't that long away. I am definitely going to be smashing this game even more once the Norse life is added. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Have a great Christmas, and I'll see you all later.